future Samantha here from the channel trying to get by hope you are okay just wanted to let you know this video is a bread and butter thing video and if you don't know anything about the bread and butter thing I'm gonna give you a quick referral to my first bread and butter thing video which I will put a link in the description box and also I'll put a link to the bread and butter thing website hope that gives you all the information that you need in the meantime let's see what passed me got in our brilliant bread and butter thing haul hello frugal friends i'm probably looking a bit shiny i've just been for my bread and butter thing haul for this month and this is serious weightage oh now if you watch my last video where i said should i complain well i kind of didn't complain but i kind of mentioned it so as i was paying i said oh Yes, I'm veggie. Oh, but I did have some non-vegetarian products. And the, the, the guy's like, oh, oh, well, you shouldn't do. I said, well, it wasn't from the vegetarian bags that you get in the chilled van. I said it was from one of the food cupboard bags. And he's like, oh, we, we, we don't generally get non-vegetarian things in those. And I just explained. I said, no, I got some hot dog sausages in there. And a couple of other people joined the conversation. And everybody was very apologetic and said it rarely ever happens because they rarely ever get meat products in the food cupboard bags so they sort of said thank you for letting us know and we'll be more aware of it and we'll keep an eye out um but everybody was super super nice about it so i didn't complain but i just kind of mentioned it so people knew what was going on so Good outcome from that, thank goodness, because I was a little bit nervous about saying something. Anyway, should we see what we have got today? Like I say, this bag is super heavy. I do sort of know what's in here, not so much what's in there, a little bit of what's in there because I can kind of see through the bag. But let's have a look and take everything out so you can see what we have got. Okay. Ooh. I mean, just that alone is weighty. So let's empty this part of the bag first. So we have got some nectarines, broccoli. And if you watch the channel, you know how much I love broccoli. We have got some bananas, which is pretty good because I didn't get Chris any this week in the shop. We have got some oranges. So Chris will be glad about that because he likes oranges. We don't get them very often. I have not had a corn physically on the cob like this for years absolutely love corn on the top like that there's a straight onion in there but i have some more onions in here so haha i got a cabbage from olio yesterday i now have another one so we have more onions um a bag of baby potatoes so we've got what, a couple more onions in there so we've got five onions in total and in this bag, we have got some of the cutest shaped carrots ever going. You've got kind of a standard, some really quite cute ones, and then some little ends of carrots. So there's probably a good pound and a half of carrots in there. So I will find things to do with those, even though I did buy a carrot yesterday as well. Okay, so this one, proper Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Ooh. Now, this is something that Chris is going to be super excited about. Croissant. He absolutely adores croissants. Just checking my mic's still on. Yes. Sometimes it cuts out halfway through and then I end up having to dub over and I hate having to do that. Anyway, carry on. Um, we have got a sourdough grains and seeds ciabattini sliced loaf. This has got some weight to it. That's probably, that's a nearly 600 gram loaf for that size. We have got, oh my days, a bottle of iron brew. I can't remember the last time I had some of this. And it's sugar free as well. Oh my goodness. It's a secret recipe of 32 flavours. I couldn't even tell you what's possibly in there. Um, then we have got... Decorate your own gingerbread pumpkins with gooey icing and spooky sprinkles. How cute. Um, we've got some little Frosties. 
bars, snack bars, so they'll come in handy. Chris can take things like that for his lunch. And then in this bag, which I had to be very delicate about, we have got half a dozen eggs. Wow, didn't expect to get eggs. I'm going to put those somewhere safe. Pop them in the middle to make sure they don't get damaged. Right, and fridge and freezer bag. Let's see what we've got in here. I was offered crab sticks because, you know, some people say the vegetarian when the pescatarian, so they, they just checked just to make sure. Oh, my goodness me. I've got a cheese and onion quiche, 21st of September. That's not till next Saturday. So I think what I might do... Oh, this can go with our salad. If when you watch this video, make sure you watch my end of the month video in a few weeks time. So end of September. I got from Olio, I asked for three bags of salad. I ended up with eight bags of salad. So we have been eating lots of salad for the past few nights. And I said to Chris this morning, I wonder what we could have with that salad. Should we just have it with jacket potatoes again? and um, some fake meat or something and I said well we could do that or I'll wait and see what comes in the oleo no in the bread and butter thing box today I think it's quiche and salad and that's far too much quiche for us to eat that's 900 grams of quiche so I will definitely be freezing that in portions Wow, that's a good heft. I can't imagine how much do you reckon one of these would cost? Put in the comments below if you know more how much a Morrison's Market Street Deli cheese and onion quiche would cost. Mm, let me know. Anyway, mine got drifted off there for a second. What else have we got in here? Oh, my days. A full block of cheese. Now, we don't eat cheese very often. So, what I will do is I will slice this up again and pop it in the fridge. No, in the freezer. If you grate it, right, so there's different ways of doing cheese in the freezer. You could put the whole block in, that's fine, but what you'll find is it will crumble um, and you won't be able to slice it that easily. Other options are to grate it. If you were going to grate it, what I'd probably do is grate it, put it on a sheet tray and pop it in the freezer all spread out. And then when you go and bag it up, just break it up so you've got it in a crumble. Otherwise, it's just going to freeze all in one big lump. Um, the other option is to slice it. But again, if you slice it, it will crack and crumble a little bit more. But once it's defrosted, it is still perfectly fine to use and will have no issues whatsoever. So I might say grate half and slice half and do it that way. Okay. I've got a little bag of radishes that I was offered. Another bag of radishes. I quite like radishes. And what is this? A little treat. Oh, millionaire shortbread. That might just disappear before Chris even sees it. Don't tell. And, oh, British Extra Thick Double Cream. So I will have to find something. To, I know what Chris might do. He might have some Rice Krispies, pour his milk on and then just put a tiny dribble of cream on top. He's not meant to have much dairy, which is one of the reasons why we don't have a lot of dairy is, as well, because um, he's lactose intolerant. But it's mostly by milk. So I don't know if you know. So lactose intolerance comes on a scale and it's so like level one which is the one that you you try last is milk and then under that is like yogurts and then under that is cheese and under that is other things so he's not too bad with cheese but he's terrible with milk if he has normal milk in a coffee or say if he has a latte with normal milk you don't want to be around him i'd shut the door and leave him in there until the smell disappears anyway but maybe a tiny little drizzle of that on his um, Rice Krispies or his cereal he might be able to get away with. Because do you remember if you're British and you remember milk that used to come in bottles from your milkman? If you got the full fat milk and it was left just enough time, that cream would go up to the top and you just have that cream layer. And if you were lucky and you got to open that first thing in the morning and have that on your cornflakes, that was like peak breakfast. 
comment below if you have had peak breakfast of full fat milk with the top oh childhood memories and is that it yes that is it oh no found another bag of radishes okay trip down memory lane there what do you think should we have a bit of a better look okay so there's that bag of carrots i know i'll find something to do with that and then moseying on down, we've obviously got the quiche, the Rice Krispies, down there. So how much do you think if we'd have bought this, I'm going to say from Morrison's, because that's where a lot of it has come from. If we bought this from Morrison's, how much would we be paying for it? So I'm going to throw a few numbers out there that I definitely know. We're probably talking £2.50, £3 for that. I'm thinking the quiche has got to be about eight pounds, if not more, potentially. A block of cheese is probably at least a couple of pounds. Croissants are going to be a couple of pounds. Um, these gingerbread things say one pound fifty-two pound. Bag of oranges probably a pound, probably seventy p there. Another one pound fifty probably there, possibly a pound something there. Half a dozen eggs, depending on the quality of the eggs, let's say that they're free range. We're probably talking up with nearly hitting two pounds. So we're going three, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I'd say I've got approximately, would you say 30 pounds worth of items here? And remember, all as we spent was £8.50 for all of this. Remember the bread and butter thing. If you are in the northwest, the northeast, and heading on down sort of towards the Midlands, it is a great and valuable resource. Let me know in the comments below if you are out of those areas, where do you go? I've heard of community fridges and places like that. Are there any places near you that maybe you could mention and then I could pass on the information to other um, viewers who are further around the country? That would be great. So thanks for watching. Please do that liking and subscribing. And if you want to see more bread and butter thing videos here, I will pop some there. If you want to see my last shopping haul, take a look over here. I'll see you next time.